little bit of this last night from the unexplained files. Bigfoot sightings in the state. Now an Arizona man describes his encounter and how he shot the big hairy beast. I hadn't seen him since 1981. This is not a place Roger Peterson particularly wants to be, but... I have to come back out here and face it. Here is in the hot June desert west of Gila Bend. It is one of these, a Bigfoot Peterson claims to have seen. The area where I had my encounter was right back over there okay. at the base of the, of the dam. It was nearly 20 years ago. Peterson and four friends were camping by the small lake. All of a sudden, it got dark. And I thought, what? There's a full moon, no clouds. So I look up over the top of my head, and there, frozen like a tree, is a female Bigfoot. You can tell the emotions are still raw. Yeah. Peterson says his friend saw another one appear and charge at them. He says there was no choice but to fire his rifle. After that, we heard it crash through the tree line, and it screamed, a god-awful scream. And uh, to this day, I don't know if I just wounded it or if I killed it. He's come back to the area several times since then. He took this video in 2001 in hopes of another encounter. And in one scene, right there, Peterson says that's another one crouched behind a bush. I didn't know who to go to until I found Tom. And I've been hoaxed three times. Tom Biscardi hunts for Bigfoot full time. And sure, there have been fakes, plenty of them over the years. But since devoting his life to the search back in the 1970s, he says he knows how to tell a hoax. And when it comes to Roger Peterson, Biscardi says something happened for sure. This guy happens to be credible. He didn't want to tell anybody what he had because he'd want to be ridiculed. Was it Bigfoot? Biscardi says it's possible. Take a look at these petroglyphs in Gila Bend. Dating back a hundred to a thousand years ago, some show a being that walks upright, taller than man. And he says they're still here. I'd be willing to venture a guess that in Arizona alone, there's probably about anywhere from 30 to 50 that migrate through this area through the migrational period. When we come back, the migration of the Bigfoot creature, the footprints they leave behind, and the sounds they make. And the DNA tests on a strange artifact. All of this as the newsroom continues.